everybody welcome back to my channel tonight I'll be showing you how I make my green fig pie green fig green banana fig as we say in Grenada it's all the same thing okay so here are my ingredients green bananas and then some water some grated cheddar cheese salt and pepper butter onion nutmeg flour breadcrumbs which is optional i'm using panko here if you're going to use breadcrumbs it gives it a nice crummy crusty texture if you like that kind of stuff some parsley and some evaporated milk so we're going to get into it right away all right so i'll be going in with my green fig and some cold water I'm putting it in whole. If you want, you can chop yours up. It doesn't really matter. And I'm using two hands of fig. One was a, a longer green and one was a shorter green. It doesn't matter. That's what I got in the store. It really doesn't matter. Each had about five to six grains on the hand. So I'm gonna let that cook. When that is cooked, I'm gonna proceed with the other ingredients. Okay, so my green bananas are ready. I'm gonna just drain the water and reserve it. Okay, so I've thrown out, well, into a bowl, I've thrown out most of my water, but if you look into the pot, there is still a little bit of water because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mash my fig but I'm not gonna mash it too fine. I still want there to be a little bit of texture in the in the face. So the little bit of water that I'm using here is gonna help to keep the fig soft, but we are gonna, we are gonna need more water when I add the remaining ingredients. Okay, so I do like this texture. It's not, it's more or less, you know, a little bit chunky. That's what we're looking for. And you can do this with green banana. You can do this with breadfruit. You can do this with any provision you want to do. The whole idea is that we're going to be making it just as macaroni pie. We're just not using macaroni. But I'm also doing a shortcut method tonight. When I made my macaroni pie, I, which I'm gonna link in the cards, I made a cream sauce or a bechamel. But tonight, I'm not gonna make that cream sauce. I'm gonna add everything in my pot here and mix and pour into my baking pan. Okay, so this is good. So, as you can see, this looks dry. That's why I said reserve some water. But before we use that water, I'm gonna add some salt and pepper, some butter, onion, water at a time so if you miss this this is the fig water that's the water that the fig was cooked in okay I'm gonna go in with some cheese and I decided to add a little bit of Velveeta to my cheddar
Okay, now I'm gonna go in with some flour. Some nutmeg. Some parsley. Very good. Doesn't need any more salt. And now some milk. I'm gonna add some more cheese because we really don't need all of that. Add the for the topping. Okay, so my fig pie has thickened up. I tasted it, it's ready. Okay, so I'm gonna pour it out in my bacon dish. I'm going to sprinkle on the remainder of the cheese and the parsley. Okay, so now my pie is ready for the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead, put it in a 400 degree temperature oven for about, I'll check it after 30 minutes and see the color, if it has achieved that color that I'm looking for. But I'm going for a kind of golden brown color. All right, so I'll show you when my pie is ready. Okay guys, and here you have it my beautiful green banana or fig pie. It's freshly out of the oven, bubbling hot, so I'm gonna have to let it cool before I show you what it looks like when it's cut. But doesn't that look amazing? All right, see you in a few. Okay guys, and here you have it, my delicious fig pie. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment. Also, share the video. See you soon.